day to all of you. My name is Aksa and I am the biology teacher at Petra Edward Training Institute. Before starting today's topic, let's do an experiment. Let's do something. So have you ever tried to put your head over the left side? Yes. Did you feel something? Some movements and sound? Yes. So do you know what we call them? So that sound you are going to feel when you put your hands over the left side, that one will be your heart beat. Yes. Exactly. You know how it will form? When your heart, we have here an organ. We call them as a heart. What is the heart? Heart is an organ, right? So it means today we are going to talk about something regarding the heart. So today our topic is circulatory system. What is that? It's circulatory system. So circulatory system of the human body consists of three main things we are having. So the one thing we are having, we call them that one is heart. Okay. And the other thing we are having, that one is blood. Okay. And the third thing we will talk about in the circulatory system, that will be our vessels. So circulatory system is that system in which the blood will be circulate to the all of your body. So blood will be circulate all around the body. So how the blood will be circulate? The blood will be circulate by the help of the vessels. You know we are having three different types of vessels. What we are having? We are having three different types of vessels. So we give them the name we are having arteries. Okay, actually the arteries, they carry oxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs and to the other parts of the body. And the third and second vessels we are having, we give them the name, that one is veins. So the veins actually carries deoxygenated blood. What is deoxygenated blood and oxygenated blood? So we are having two different terms, deoxygenated blood. And the other one we are having is oxygenated blood so deoxygenated blood is that blood which is not clean we can say that one is having the high amount of carbon dioxide and oxygenated blood is that one which one is having the low amount of carbon dioxide and the third vessel we are going to talk about that one will be capillaries So these are the three vessels we are having. So let's talk about the blood. So the blood we are having, blood consists of the liquid portion of the blood. We call them that one is plasma. What is that? We call them that one is plasma. So the plasma is the liquid portion of the blood. Besides of this, the blood cells consist of three different types of blood cells we are having. What we are having? The blood cells. So blood cells are of three types we are having. The one we call them we are having R, B, C, which is the red blood cells. We can also call them as a erythrocytes. And the other one we are having, we call them that one is white blood cells. And the third type of the blood cells we are having, we give them the name that one will be platelets. So red blood cells carries uh, oxygen to the all other parts of the body. Red blood cells having an important component we call it as a hemoglobin. Okay, and it does not have the nucleus, so it has the large space. Okay, because of this one, the oxygen will bind with the hemoglobin and oxygen will be transferred to the other parts of the body. White blood cells of two types we are having the phagocytes and the lymphocytes, which play a very important role in the formation of antibodies in our body. So white blood cells is regarding the immunity. So we are having the platelets. So platelets basically, if we got the cut in our fingers, you know that the clot will be formed. Exactly. So the platelets is evolved. We can say the function of the platelets is regarding the clotting of the blood. So these are the three types of the blood. So let's talk about the heart. So heart consists of basically four chambers we are having. How many chambers we are having? Four chambers. What is the heart? Heart is the circulatory organ, the main pumping organ. When the heart will pump the blood, so the blood will move with the pressure to the all other parts of our body. So heart consists of four chambers we are having. So we call them we are having two upper chambers and the two lower chambers. We are having the upper chambers and the lower chambers. Two upper chambers and the two lower chambers. The upper chambers of the heart we call them that one is 
atria what is that atria and the lower chambers we give them the name that one will be ventricles so we are having the one that one is on the left side so we call them we are having the left atria and the left ventricles and the one which one is having on the right side so we call them we are having the right atria and the right ventricles so the structure we can draw like this this is the basic structure i am drawing only to draw so you can understand the different we are having the chambers okay this one so you can see one two three four chambers okay so this one we call them we are having right atria because this one is the upper chamber and the one which one is having on the left side that one we call them as a left atria this one we call them as a right ventricle this one we call them as a left ventricle so the heart consists of four chamber so we talked about the circulatory system which consists of the heart the blood and the vessel i hope the topic will be clear have a good day bye